All right, all right. What's going on, folks? We reached part three of the little video series I just did. Another unboxing video. The first video I did an unboxing. The second one I showed you how one on stash that I didn't show you a video of yet, but um, it was just sitting at the crib, you know. Don't know why I didn't do an unboxing video. He's been here. The last pair I showed you, they were there for like good three months. I got them like three, three, four months ago. But anyway, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, we got this unboxing for you. I really like these shoes. Did they call like millionaire or something? Put that in the description. Millionaire or something. Anyway, check the descriptions out. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that thumbs up. Leave me a comment. And the description of this shoe will be inside the video so you can know a little bit more about the shoe. I want my viewers to read a little bit too. I don't think anything wrong with reading. I read, I listen to podcasts, and I do audiobooks and read real books. So, so, whoops. Let's just see. Let's just see. Okay, I had to grab these in the nine and a half. Well, I didn't have to grab them, but I did in the nine and a half because they, like I said, okay, look at that. Retail was one thirty. It says it on the box. I got these after um after shipping for thirty seven dollars. Thirty seven dollars retail one thirty. I I couldn't beat that. Couldn't beat that. Okay, I lied. Not thirty-seven. Thirty-three dollars. I got these for thirty-three dollars. Thirty-three dollars. Always be looking, guys. You know. If you like to spend money, if you like shoes, always be looking for deals. All right. Classic red, classic red, Gen Light threes. Surprised didn't say nothing fancy. Probably because they thirty three dollars shoes. That's why I didn't say nothing fancy on it. Like the last video. Anyway, oh, so, so we got here like a uh, cream bottom, a cream bottom with the white sole. It's red and white right here. Stripes. You want to call it some stripes or whatever. This is cool. This is cool. Especially for uh for thirty-three dollars. This is spectacular for thirty-three dollars. Spectacular for thirty-three dollars. I seen some other kicks that are similar to this, like there are some dunks. And they have some ants on them. Picnic dunks. I'm gonna call these right here the picnics. The picnic gel light threes. Even though they're supposed to be millionaire or something, I like personally picnic. Picnic gel light threes. Cause I'm gonna straight up take my family on a picnic. Probably in these shoes right here. Cause I think it's gonna go real well. Picnic gel light threes. You heard it first. I I rename these. Because this this material right here does look nothing. It looks just like a you know the cover for the picnic. Or these little basket. These should have came with a dang little little old basket. Then there just the bottom of the, the sole of the shoe, then there like it'd be the color of a basket. So how in the heck do they name me? What what does millionaire have to do with these shoes? I'm gonna put the the um the description of the shoe for sure inside. Um, the video description area. So make sure y'all read that. Y'all see what's going on with this because red and white. I mean, my favorite color is red, but what does it have to do? What background information is on this shoe? What kind of idea did they get? 
um, to call it Milgan. They call this Milgan or something. I'm going to put that in a title, whatever the shoe name is for sure, once I find it. It's called Milgan or something. And yeah, read the description so you can find out more information about the shoe. But it's a cool shoe. They didn't give me any extra shoe strings like some other shoes. But for $33, hey, whatever. I'm going to try them on and see if they fit well because they are a half size smaller than what I normally wear. I may need to, need, I may need to wear some thinner socks in order to pull these off comfortably. Don't know. Matter of fact, they honestly don't feel bad right now. Anyway. They honestly do not feel bad. I don't have them tied up, but with the tongue being how it is, wasn't hard putting them on for one. Yeah, as you see, I don't have them tied up. It wasn't hard putting them on with this. See, these don't crease like a lot of the other leather shoes do. It's not leather, though, so whatever, but. These look way, way better than the first pair I showed you. For I got those for under 50 bucks in the first, in the part one. I got those for under 50. They were all red. And the quality quality on these is a lot better. Especially since these are cheaper. 33 bucks. So, I'm probably going to give me some cream shorts. Wear these during the summertime. Taking the family on a picnic. I'm, I'm going to uh, tie them up real quick. Yeah, I'm going to tie them up real quick. Uh, so y'all can see. Just basic tying them up. You know, nothing fancy. Ugh. Yeah, this nine and a half doesn't feel bad at all. I mean, the shoes were all different material. So you got to take that in mind. Well, keep that in mind. Uh, yeah, the different material does make a difference on your shoe size as well. Because some of the materials are thicker. Some of them allow it to stretch a little bit more. And with this, like, you know, cloth material right here, I guess my foot is was able to stretch more freely compared to the other ones. I think the first pair was leather, second pair is suede, and this is like cotton material right here. And as you see, these ain't too bad, especially for $33. Some good shorts, picnic, be pretty cool. Look at that. Uh uh. Uh. Dang it. Alright, folks. Make sure you like, subscribe. I mean, not like, but hit that thumbs up and comment. Let me know what you think about these picnics. July 3 pic picnics or what? What you think?